Brad Garlinghouse says this about Codius in the early days. When I joined Ripple, we were a small company, it was about four and a half years ago, and there were three use cases the company was focused on. Uh, one was a smart contracts platform called Codius, uh, using the XRP ledger. Uh, the second was a company, kind of a, a project called Global Identity, and the third was the payments thing. My view was we had to focus, 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 and choose one, and if we were lucky with that one over a period of years, maybe we'd get the opportunity to do number two, or number three, or number four. Uh, I don't look back, I mean, given what has transpired, one could argue that we should have focused more on smart contracts and what happened with the Ethereum network. Uh, I don't regret that. I think the payments, like, you have, you know, north of $20 trillion going cross-border each year. It is fraught with, you know, error rates and it's slow, it's expensive. It, for me, it's the classic, like, Silicon Valley going up against the big behemoth Goliath but it's so broken. When I go talk to banks, it's a beautiful thing for me because banks don't like Swift. They're frustrated with Swift. Their customers don't like Swift. And like, that's a great place to be uh, when you're selling into that. So look, do I think there's other vertical use cases and maybe if I went back, could we do it differently? Uh, yeah, I, sometimes I, I wonder that, but I also think we have been so fortunate through a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill that we find ourselves with a lot of momentum uh, in, I think, really solving a problem using these technologies at scale.